From food on the table to a house to live in, the government shutdown is impacting local families and pushing some at-risk families right to the limit. That is the subject of tonight's Vegas Lost. News 3's John Trainer in the studio. John? Hey, usually we talk about kids and crime here. Tonight, we shift gears because of a shutdown. Well, national politics seems to get uglier each day. Families and at-risk kids here are starting to wonder if that government shutdown is going to take food off plates and roofs from overhead. The shelves at the Hope Market are stacked. They don't accept money here, no assistance needed. Just follow the post-its, fill your cart. 1,000 families every month will walk the aisles here. But now, with the federal government shutdown and programs like food stamps frozen with it, the Salvation Army here is preparing for more. Basically what we are is kind of like just like that bridge uh, from month to month. The Salvation Army has found themselves on the front lines of an immigration battle. While politicians are at a stalemate over funding a border wall, poor people in Las Vegas are the casualties. Dozens of families depend on the federally funded Salvation Army Rental Assistance Program. The nonprofit pays for their rent and gives them guidance in finding a job and managing money. The shutdown has stopped those federal dollars from coming in, which means families with kids as young as 12 now have to spend the little they can save to keep the roof over their heads. How long can people last before you start seeing them? You know, we're already seeing a little bit of an increase. Um, uh, for most of these people, just a one month delay is going to be detrimental. Now, as politicians are meeting with the president trying to hammer out a deal, there is new reason to hope in the hope market. Thank the Lord we're the Salvation Army and that we have funds by generous people's donation to be able to assist, but we can't assist with COC funding because it's just not there. And we're forced to tell these people that we're going to help to support them in any way that we can, but their program is at a halt. And for many, that's a very scary prospect. It, it's really scary, and it doesn't just affect Salvation Army programs right now. HUD websites are down as well. That's housing and urban right. development. They can't apply for new grants. People who don't get HUD benefits won't get HUD benefits until this all ends, if it does. Yeah, the impact grows the longer it drags exactly on. Exactly right. And their voters, too. Right. This could have other implications right. as well. Yeah. Thanks, John.